Okay, YouTube. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm using a shitty little tripod for the camera. Okay. So what we're doing today is we're going to repair an idler tire. This is for a Marantz cassette deck. Okay. Like a Marantz 1810 SD 800. All those Marantz cassette decks have this. Okay. So this is for like the fast forward, rewind and all that. This little tiny idler tire. They're very difficult to find. Okay. So when the diameter gets real low like that. Okay. That's not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove it. Okay. And we're going to increase its diameter. Okay. So. <clears throat> the diameter is 13.7. Okay. So we want to increase that. To about 14.7. Okay. At least another millimeter. All right. So, and that'll make it last a very long time and it will work with authority. All right. I'm testing one right now. It's running in the other room. Hopefully YouTube isn't going to give me a bunch of strikes because it's playing right now. I did that one yesterday. So... <clears throat> First thing we're going to do is we're going to get this tire off. You have to be careful not to crack the wheel. Use a small flathead screwdriver, something like that. Okay, get in on the edge of it. Try to get underneath of it. You know, go around the edge a little bit. Because it's been on there for a very long time. Just like removing a tire from a rim. Okay. So just take your time. Try to get underneath of it. Try not to stab yourself. This one's putting up a real good fight. Let's try some tweezers under there. Okay, now we're underneath of it. So once you get underneath of it, just try to go around a little bit, loosen it up. Okay, now it's moving nice and freely. Okay. Oh, pop back on on me. Okay. There it is. Okay, once we got that tire off, <clears throat> we're going to give it some rubber renew. Okay? Because it's old, it's tired, and it really needs a drink. Okay? So, give it some rubber renew all around it
Let it soak it up. Okay. So. You could soak it in rubber renew. Okay, if you want. So. The rubber renew is some, some nasty stuff, so make sure you put the lid back on it. Make sure you're in a well-lit area or well-ventilated area. I'm actually sitting out on my porch. Okay. So, <clears throat> while that's sitting there soaking up like that, I'm going to turn that radio down a little bit. So YouTube. Sorry about that. Fucking YouTube. They just love giving me strikes. Okay. Like as if someone's going to make a CD out of me playing some fucking music in the background. Okay. So what we're going to do. We're going to take this wheel, this pulley right here, and we're going to put two-way sticky tape around this pulley, okay? From 3M, you can get it on the internet. This is 2 millimeters by 25 millimeters long, okay? 2 millimeters wide, all right? Okay. Hmm. Now you find the edge of it. There it is. Okay. Now we're going to use about four inches of it. Okay. So we got about four inches of it, okay? <clears throat> Stuff's a little difficult to work with because it sticks to every fucking thing, okay? So, once you get it started on that pulley, see this is the exact width of the pulley, okay? <clears throat> so, once you get it started on there and you know it's sticking real good, you go back to the beginning of it, okay? Because you have to start peeling this red stuff off of here. Okay, so make sure that it's stuck down real good. Okay, nice and even. Now, you want to start peeling this stuff off, the red. Okay. <clears throat> so you start peeling it as you're sticking the rest of it on there. All right. Like I said, it's a pain in the ass to work with because it likes to stick to everything.
So just take your time. Work it around there. And this red stuff will just start coming off. Okay, as you're going around. And we only want to go around this like two times, okay? So our starting width was about 13.7 millimeter. And we're trying to get it up to about 14.8 millimeter, something like that. Okay. Now you can always take the idler tire off and add more. If you need to remove the tape, it'll come right off with some tweezers or something. Okay. Okay. And you will see a noticeable difference in the height of that idler tire. All right. When I put it back on, before there was hardly any rubber showing, okay? <clears throat> now this is nice and dry from the rubber renew, well, most of it, okay? But it's looking real good. So now you got the tire back on, you know, just give it a little squeeze all the way around. Make sure it's nice and straight. So there you go. Looks brand spanking new. Plenty of rubber all the way around. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. Real nice. Yeah, that's good. Let's check the diameter of it. Fourteen point six. So we were shooting for about 14.8, but that's okay. 14.6, that's damn good, okay? So this is good to go right into the Marantz. Next time I have to do one, I'm already ready. So, but my four of them, are doing just fine that one in there is still playing along I don't know if you can hear it or not but so that's all you need to do if you want to redo a idler tire okay because they are hard to find on the internet okay get yourself some of this tape this stuff is a it's a fucking lifesaver all right you can get it in any width you want. Like I said, you can get it on eBay or whatever for like $5, all right? I've had this for years. I'll never use all this. It's ridiculous, but 
<clears throat> so, <clears throat> just take your time, be patient, you know, and be careful when you take that tire off because you can stab yourself and you don't want to do that. So, I was going to sand this with some 600 grit, but it don't need it. Okay, it's perfectly fine. So, that's about it for this video. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And uh, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you can save your cassette deck and make it play again. Okay? So, that's it for today. Have a good day. Party on.